Hello everyone, I am bringing you a fresh design of a social media inbox. This is what our designer came up with. We've done a lot of back and forth and this is what we're putting out there to you guys, soliciting feedback. Please get us your feedback as soon as possible to make sure that we can incorporate that into the final design when we code this thing, which is gonna be just obviously as soon as possible. I mean, we're, um, we're really hoping for the first quarter of 2024. So this isn't gonna be an immediate turnaround, but we'll be working with you guys to make sure it's perfect when it comes out. I'm gonna go through what this thing's gonna do. I'm gonna go through each one of its proposed features. There's some pretty innovative things we're doing in here. And once we're done with that, don't just click away. Please go down to the comment section and add your two cents. Um, so let's get started. On the left side, what you could see here is there's a new button called Inbox. When you click that on the left nav, that's gonna open up your inbox. The first thing you're gonna see is the default tab. And the reason I say default tab is we've actually, we're adding a whole bunch of tabs up here. And the way it works is some of the inboxes we've seen have something called channels. And this is the closest thing to a channel that you're gonna see. And basically what a channel or these tabs are, these are basically your own assigned um, preferences. So you can create a whole set of inbox preferences and store those to a tab. So what that allows you to do is very quickly move in and out of different views. So let me give you an example. We're gonna give you some preset ones like assigned to me and unread, but you're going to be able to add and delete tabs to really set this thing up so it makes you as productive as humanly possible. And you can always click on all feeds and it will just wipe all the filters out and basically give you a full view of everything. But when you're going through these, I'm gonna give you a little more of like the detail of what you can do to customize these in another screen that we're gonna be getting to when we show everything kind of expanded. But just as an overview, what you're looking at up here is a very quick way to go through some preset views so you can very quickly like, you know, um, take care of all of your group comments or jump in there and, you know, take care of all of your, your tweets or whatever it's gonna be. So let's start moving down the page. As we move down, we see on the left here, you have a filter column. The filter column has a little collapse button, and yes, I'm gonna show you what that looks like when it's collapsed in just a moment here. But when you have the filter column open, you can filter by things like you know posts or direct messages, different types of inbox items. You can also filter for network if you only wanna see things from like Facebook. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have Facebook pages and Facebook groups separated because some people really care more about the group posts in their inbox than the page uh, comments. And tags, you can also filter by tag. You can filter by which user is assigned to the post. So if you only wanna see stuff from you, you can select yourself. Um, date range, um, there's gonna be a default date range in there that takes you all the way up to current, but if you wanna look at historical stuff or only the most recent things, you can also filter for that as well. Moving into the middle here, we have all of our social profiles going across the top. So you can choose some or all of your social profiles and you'll recognize this from the publisher. This is gonna be a very similar dropdown that will allow you to have profile groups. And when you create these profile groups, those will be observed when you save these tabs up here. So for example, let's say you're managing three different brands in one of your workspaces. You'll be able to have a group for brand A, a group for brand B, and a group for brand C. Then you can very quickly cut across all the social networks only for that particular brand. So it's a very quick way to kind of get in and out and assign different views to those. So you can quickly jump in and out of brands if that's how you have your workspace organized. Moving down a bit, we've got a search utility, and that only covers this middle section. And what you're looking at here in the middle, this is the actual inbox. Think about Gmail 
you know, this is where it's going to give you just a really brief summary of what the message is, who sent it, how long ago it was sent, and it's going to give you some icons here to give you an I just a quick view of what the settings are of this. You know, like this means it's just a regular post. This means it was from Facebook. This means it's of high importance if it has a flag. And this is the tag that you've assigned to it. So as you go down, you can tell if it's red or unread because the ones that are unread are blue and bold for this text. And it will also tell you how many unread messages within that particular post are sitting there waiting for you to view it. So um, what you can also do is we move uh, over here to the top right, you can refresh it. It's going to automatically refresh itself, but if you get impatient, you can click that and make sure you're looking at the absolute latest. Um, right here, um, this is something my son came up with when I showed it to him. He's still in high school and he really likes the way this is designed. Um, and I, for some reason, completely trust him. He's got a really great eye for design. But anyway, when he told me this, it just immediately made sense. Um, and when you hover over this, you're going you're gonna to have a left and right um, icon that'll show up that allows you to click and drag. So if you want to see you know, a much larger preview area, you can do that. Or if you want to see the details, you can also do that as well and shrink the preview area. So moving over to the right side, this is going to be the detail area. So this is showing what it looks like if this particular post from Elmer is selected. When you click on this, it's going to expand this over here and you'll see the entire conversation where you can scroll up and down and see it with the latest post down here at the bottom. It's going to have a search field and there will be a refresh button over here as well. And it's going to show a search field for checking the entire conversation so you can jump to that part of it. And um, it's very nice to have these timestamps so you can kind of see the progression of the conversation. So down here at the bottom, there is a place to add your message. And this is where you actually add it. There's a couple of extra features we've added to simplify things for you. Um, we've also added emoji down here on the left so you can have a full suite of emoji to add. You can even add an image to your comments and you can view images as well. We also added just a really quick emoji you know, thumbs up will probably give you the ability to put your own favorite frequently used emoji here, just so you're not always fishing through a hundred emojis to find it. And last but not least, we're going to add an AI feature here that will um, scan the most recent messages and it will pre-populate your response based on everything that's been said to date and what um, AI believes is the most appropriate response. That way, all you're having to do here is edit versus com coming up with something yourself from scratch. So this will be a big time saver. So I'm going to move on and I want to show you some other views of this. So the next screen shows you what happens when you click that collapse button on the left side. That hides your filter column and basically gives you more room here to really focus on your inbox. Um, if you do want to expand that again, we add a filter button here, and when you click that, it will expand out, and then you'll see the collapse button over here. And if we jump into the next view, and just to remind you guys, this is not live. This is um, still in the design view, or design mode, um, while we get feedback, then we can start coding it. So this is what it looks like with some of the more popular um, dropdowns and features expanded. So starting from the very top, what's really cool about these tabs up here, the different view tabs, is you've got a lot of options for the presets. So not only can you set like which social profiles are um, switched on and which filters you wanna have active, you can also make some other changes to the tab up here using the drop down. So when you hover over the tab, it's going to give you the option to save or edit. So saving it is basically going to store all of the selections you have on that view. So you'll very easily be able to make changes to that and then save it again and overwrite it. The edit button will create this drop down effect here and allow you to rename the tab you'll be able to move the tab to a different position up here. 
you'll be able to have the filters expanded or not by default. So you might have one where you're never ever having to change the filter because it's so well defined that you just want to have a nice big spread out view without even being distracted by all of these filters. That's totally up to you and you could do it on a per view basis. Um, you can set this as the default tab or not. And what that means is when you launch the inbox, you can actually choose which tab opens by default. So the one you use most frequently, obviously, is what you'd want to choose here. Now, moving over here down to the right, if you click one of these three buttons next to an item, um, it's going to give you some more options here. You'll be able to visit that conversation within the social network. You'll also be able to mark it as unread. This is this gets me into trouble, but I love it. Like if I'm in Gmail and I read something that looks like it's going to be more involved than I have time available to address, I'll just check the mark as unread. It's going to make it blue again, so I know that I need to address that at a future time. Um, I can flag this as an important item just to give myself that nice flag and a visual cue that this really needs to be addressed. I can add tags to it. So you can add multiple tags and this is how they look. And you'll be able to create your own tags, of course. You can assign this to other sub users. So if you are an agency using this and you've got people on the um, client side that you need to send things to if it's just beyond your product knowledge or whatever, you know, obviously you're gonna be the front line. You're gonna be the one that are that's responding with things like hey thanks so much for the shout out but when it comes to deep product questions you might need help from an expert within the client's team it's going to be super easy to assign this and if you check this out you'll actually be able to see at a glance these are not social profiles these are actually sub user thumbnails so the sub user thumbnail that you have up here will appear down here if somebody's assigned. So you can very quickly see who has already been assigned to this post. Then when they log in and they go to their assigned to me, they're gonna see that you've assigned this to them and it'll be very clear to them that they absolutely need to address that. So you can also add internal notes um, and that will attach to the conversation, but the end user will not be able to see that. The person you're conversing with will not be able to see that. Um, but it will be visible by anyone who is assigned to that particular item. And they'll be able to add their notes as well. So you can have an internal dialogue as to how you guys want to remedy the situation. You'll also be able to delete the conversation from right here within the inbox. So you don't need to go to the social network um, to do that. That's it, guys. I hope this is something that's of interest to you. Um, you know, one other thing I want to show you is there's going to be just a little, you know, page setting. This is going to be more of like an overall setting of your inbox um, for things like, you know, frequency of refresh, basic things like that. So this will be there as well. Um, before I let you go, though, I do want to show you one other thing. Uh, you'll notice that this new tab design is totally new and fresh, and we want to incorporate that throughout the software just to keep things consistent. So we've done a mock-up of our publisher with this tab design. And the way the tabs work is the selected one turns white. And if you hover over any of these, it has this really nice little background here, a small background just to show that you're about to click it. And you can always hover over the plus and create a new one using the plus icon. So we think that's pretty clean. And let me jump over and show you guys what this looks like for the publisher. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback on this as well. Hopefully you guys like how this looks. I think it looks really cool. So looking at this, um, you're used to our existing tabs. I feel like these tabs just look a lot cleaner. I like the two-tone and yes, for you white label folks, we are going to give you controls so you can change this color as well as the foreground. Right now we just have a background um, selection, but now you'll have you know the immediate background and uh, the distant background back here. And I like this for a couple of reasons. First of all, it just looks a lot cleaner. 
I feel like the full field of white was just a bit too much and this really softens the design and looks more professional. The other thing I like about this is it will finally allow us to do a dark mode. So I don't know for sure if we're gonna have like a dark mode switch right here. I'm going to try. So once we do this and make this, implement this change, um, we are gonna go in there and have our designer go and create a white label version of the software that has dark mode fully enabled. Um, and we are, and if it looks fantastic, we are going to put a switch right here just to make it super easy for your clients um, to be able to switch on dark mode. And of course we'll do that for our non-agency clients as well, would also have that switch. So that's some other exciting thing that's coming um, shortly after we finish the inbox. So looking forward to hearing your comments on this. Um, as always, if you have any, you can you know, comment right here in the feed. If you need deeper comments, like a conversation with us, go to live chat. There's a widget after you log into the software where you can have a direct chat with us. So thanks a lot. Have a great day.